hi this is miss d okay you guys i figured i would show you how i was storing uh some of my uh, crafty stuff in my room and before i make another mess yeah kind of i can't say i kind of rearrange some things um but i'm going to show you how i have things organized in my room right now I'm going to try and keep it <laughs> like this for now because um, I don't see putting anything else in here I can't think of how else I would change anything in here except for I'm thinking if I would change that but I don't know so I'm going to take you around this is I'm going to start in the corner and then I'm going to um, show you, per se, what someone told me. Um, they kind of said, oh, this is where the magic happens. But no, I think where I sit is where the magic happens because that's where I actually do my creating. I put the stuff together here. So what I'm going to do is I'll start from my other video on that other side hold on for a second I'm going to see if I could nicely pull this off and I'm not showing you what I have I'm just merely showing you how I store things in my room how I organized it to um, pretty much make it easy for me to craft so here we go I don't know if you remember you're not going to remember this because I never showed it to you. Well, I showed it to you in another video. But if you look over here, this is where it starts on one side of my room. This side used to be my scrapbooking room. But, you know, we stopped scrapbooking oh long time ago. So I'm going to take you back over here. And I'm also going to show you um, what I did with a few other things that I was straightening up. Like over here and as you can this is where all of my phone stamps um, is right now these are the ones that I've come across so far so I showed you all that earlier as you can see I got stuff down on the floor because it shouldn't have been in there and the rest of it are dies and stamps I had glue in there and as you can see it's on top of my uh, station on one of my stations right now and that's my workstation and once I put all those up it'll be clear again well it really wasn't totally clear but I'm going to cover this and I'm going to take you around the back of this corner right here where I had my rascogs no I haven't cleaned these up yet but this is where I stopped on this side and I didn't show you what was on this side but here it is now if I look this way, I could see clear th through to the other side. But this is pretty much where I have a bunch of my mixed media stuff, but also my papers. And then up here, I had a bunch of punches. So I went to Target and I got those containers because that's where I got the last ones from to put those punches in so that they weren't just sitting there exposed and it looks a lot neater there so I did that um, over here on top of this unit I have two of these things on either side and they're filled with uh, what's those sprays glitter glues and um, ink pads and yes a bunch of stuff like that so but over here I have another pegboard okay I'm going to squeeze in here and on the back of this um, wall or this is one of my units I actually have this is what sits on top of it so you know you saw that before because I just have a lot of stuff in here that makes me happy yeah I actually need to take that stuff down and give it a dusting I haven't had a chance because I'm trying to craft and I am trying to create stuff so yeah this is where I have a bunch of my stuff I haven't filled that drawer yet but I want to put a bunch of embellishments I have some in there embellishments in there and one day I'll just go through all of them to make sure 
like only one kind of embellishments are in there. And uh, yeah, and I'll go through this. I got a bunch of these little things right here, and they're long, um, from a store that was going out of business. And you know, we got another store going out of business, H.H. H. Gregg. I wonder if you guys have that. I'm going to check over there to see if they have any shelving units that I can maybe purchase. But yeah, and then this is um, a bunch of my Christmas um, well, flowers and stuff right here. And I just have it in this little corner. There's a reef over there. And then over here in this little corner, there's canvases that I could easily get to because I use those a lot. Those are my 12 by 12s. But over here in this corner, this is what I didn't show you all. Um, this is behind me. I have just a lot of the things that I either create, stamps, I use. I, these are probably older ways that I used to store stuff and then I kind of start using another system. But nonetheless, I still have it here. Um, that's blocking powder, chalk. These are... Yeah, these created companions, the rocker blocks. You have to be a great, I found this out, you have to be a great stamper to use these things. If not, you'll mess up everything that you do. I do have a lot of my dies over here. Um, yeah, so I have more paper. I'm hoping, I'm looking for a paper stack that I was using to make my umbrellas. I hope it's over here because I've lost it. So, yeah, I'm trying to find it right here. Um, yeah, so this is this is just some of the ways that I actually store stuff. There's also a num another thing of paper down there. A whole unit. And this unit was built in here, so it's nothing I could do about that either. So it won't move because it goes all the way across my... Um, room yeah that's my serger um my carrying case and then this is one of the fake uh what's those things that you hang stuff on this one i bought i guess it's about 15 20 dollars from the shoe rack um that i bought from i think walmart or target this right here are it's really one of those kitchen things i'm actually going to put embellishments in those I do have one extra drawer. This is a one of the outside lights that I actually took off of uh, Stephen's house. I got both of them. I'm going to put, and that's how long I've had it. It's about 15 years old, and he changed his out of his house. So, of course, I, I wanted it because we use stuff like that. I'm going to put a fairy garden in there. Yeah. But yeah, so I did want to show you this side, and now I'm going to take you back over to the other side. I don't think it's much else that I change, but I do want you to look at this right here, because when I show you it again, I think the paper behind it and the rascogs cogs will be cleaned up, best I could clean them up. Yeah, so let me take you back around here on this side so I could show you exactly where I here we go this is where as they put it <laughs> the magic happens I sit there I sit right there and everything in front of me I have bunches of books whereas I have books there and books over there in both places I've run out of space so let's see now I have books down there. I have my tildes. I have my magazines that I get from the UK. And I appreciate everybody letting me know that they get their books from Barnes & Noble. I don't have one here. So it's still just as easy uh, for me to go to, um, I mean to order, you know, so I don't have a problem with it. And they're not costing me. As much as the actual um, magazines are costing at Joanne. So even with the postage, I probably end up paying sometimes about the same. It depends on what the currency rate is. 
I have stuff in here. Um, these are little trunks that I got. I think all of Tim, I need to really dust. I don't think anything. Oh, yeah, a bunch of embellishments here. Some people call their embellishments old. I don't have old embellishments. I just have embellishments. This is all of Tim Holtz stuff. I don't know if any of you know, but Tim Holtz is one of my first loves. I love Tim Holtz. So, um, yeah, so. I have everything, pretty much everything of his that I like. Yes, yeah, some of, I don't think there's much that I don't like of his, but I love creating his, um, yeah. I, I love creating with his products, so I love his style. I always have. Uh, so here on this side, let me start over here since I showed you that table. These are, someone asked about the Alex drawers, the tall ones. I don't know if you can tell, but I have three of the tall Alex drawers. I'll see if I can push, push this up just a little so you can see what I'm talking about. I have three of the tall Alex drawers here, and they house things that I use on a normal basis. A bunch of scissors. I'm not going to open every drawer. These are a bunch of my... Uh, we are memory keeper punches, more scissors, just stuff that I use cards on a regular basis. Over here, I have a bunch of ink pads. Um, these are my wipes and punches. Uh, journaling cards. Yeah, and I, I stopped buying journaling cards. That got to be redunculous. Oh, and someone mentioned this... Uh, this, I'm going I'm to pull it up and show you. I'll probably leave it here. But they told me it opened up. I can't do it now. And it does. It opens and it is um, ba not battery. But it has a, I'm sorry. <laughs> it has a power unit adapter that you sit it on. And, um, yeah, it just does its thing. So, that is panning out to be a great product for me. I think it was like $60, $68. But whoever gave me that advice, thank you, thank you. Because I immediately went and purchased it. It helps so when I drop stuff down here, you can see the little... I put this uh, thing here because I could easily see all the trash. It's down here, which will let me know. Don't walk out of your room with it looking like that. But yeah, this is where I have a lot of the stuff. You can't see it, but I can. A lot of the stuff that I use when I create things. So yeah, I do say this is where the magic happens. And Paige gave me this the idea to title this video, Where the Magic Happens. Uh, because yeah, this is where I sit and as you can see under here and I have just have lots of stuff that I use I have two rugs down here, so it's not real easy to move this chair because It wraps up on itself, but yeah, I actually have a Alex drawer underneath my table where I sit and I have a bunch of stuff and I call my stuff 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 yeah all of a lot of my tools and little accessories and stuff that I use uh, is in those drawers and then over here and it really comes in handy because it's right beside me I, I have lots of stuff here um, I'm not gonna pull all that stuff out because then that would make for a long video these are those are tapes and tools and stuff that I use. But yeah, I have stuff underneath there. Mostly books and stuff that's there. And ink pads. And I have a unit right here. And it has a lot of my glues in it. And then, you guys, washi tape. I have washi tape forever. Here's another one of those magpie units. I have a bunch of stamps in there, I think. A bunch of stamps in here. Somebody gave me this idea long ago. But... It's okay, I got a bunch of those things, these things up there, I think. But I have the clear display cases back there. 
y'all know that this nouveau crystal drops is like this is another hat okay it's just like the fingernail polish so if you have fingernail polish that you have sitting around there's a hack you guys you can use your fingernail polish for that nouveau crystal and i'm gonna show you i did it on here you see how it always looks wet so that's using this is using the fingernail polish yes yeah, so just a hack you guys but anyway yes this is just a lot of the stuff that i have over here on this side i'm doing some projects here i'm doing some easter projects this is one of the and that's because i had to do these and i think i'm gonna do as many as i can um i have quite a few <sighs> let's see um, challenges that I have to pull names for and uh, one was a hidden challenge hey just a word a hint when when someone tell you that I'm having a hidden challenge do you leave a comment and say oh thanks for the giveaway because you then reveal their challenge right maybe I'm thinking wrong but I'm like uh, 50 people came over <laughs> over to my channel and said oh my thanks for the giveaway but if it's a hidden challenge i don't want you to tell other people let them find it yeah once you say it's a hidden oh uh, no once you say thanks for the giveaway yeah you just gave it away and your chances went down for winning yeah because now you have added people but anyway i'd like for them to watch my videos because that's not why i do them i do my videos for me i really do my videos because i like sharing and if somebody come and watch it, that's a plus. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking coffee, you guys. Oh, it tastes so good. But yeah, I'm doing some projects over here. I have reached 5,000 subscribers. So I'm going to also put another packet together to do a giveaway. And of course, it has to be stuff that's in my room and that I made for the giveaway, right? Okay, I have stuff down here. This is one of my little baskets that I use. And I actually package it up with stuff that I'm going to work with. I put it down there so it's close to me. And I usually put it back. But obviously, that has not been happening. Um, so, I'm going to try to make that happen a little more. Okay, right here, I was going to make this my... Do you know how one of the ladies on YouTube... I forget what her name was. She did a curating for Christmas thing. She does it every year and every year it gets bigger and bigger. Well I have I wanted to do I have my curating for Christmas stuff back there. Let me turn this light on. Okay. <clears throat> and I wanted to make one for winter but that didn't happen and um but I still have all the stuff sitting here that I actually want to use. And I'll come back and tell you what I have on this. Because I have not told you what I have on this. These Alex drawers. And I think they're nine high. I have them three across. And I have a lot of stuff that either I have prepared. I have my AT blocks. I make my own AT blocks. And I'll show you all what I make it with. Uh, make them with here are some here that I haven't finished um, yeah I'll just point them out and you can see with some of them how I make them and some I'll show you what I use to make them uh, yeah so these are just some of the things that I have up here that I use um, or make and Usually, I have words in my room. I love words. So I usually have words of inspiration all around. So, this says, I have a banner here. It says, Inspire. Yeah. And I have a thing. This is one of my places. I just keep my buttons. That is a huge, yes, jar. I like it. It reminds me, everything in here reminds me of candy or cookies or yeah this right here this face this is nothing but doilies bunches of doilies thanks to paper bag lady i don't know if you all remember her but years ago she used to just sell those she would take the doilies um she would 
find, she would go to thrift shops and find blankets or tablecloths and she would actually separate each one of those and sell them. I thought that was such a good good idea and I used to just buy them, buy them, buy them and I ended up with so many. I have some in there because that's eye candy too. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to move slow. Um, another love of mine are ballerina slippers, ballerina shoes. I love, love, love that. Um, yeah, and uh, so I have a lot of stuff here that I use. These little, they're the wooden spools. I'll show you where I get those from. I love, love, love them. This is, I'm going to move my little, I love shoes and purses and stuff. So that is just a reminder. I love perfumes. So I, I collect those perfume bottles. You actually buy them like that. But I always normally put my ballerina slippers on a perfume bottle. Um, yeah, so here is my granddaughter's first uh, captured fairy that I did for her. And for some reason or another, she loves for me to keep her stuff in my room. So, yeah, I kind of do. Um, the banner that I made, I made it for her. So I put it up here. And if she wants me to keep it for her, I'll find somewhere else to display it where it's not in the way. But, yeah, so I'm displaying it right there. And she haven't seen it yet because she haven't been here. She's in... North Carolina now, so yeah, until they uh, move back in the area. I don't see them as frequently as I like. Okay, over here, I have a project. This is another project that I'm working on. And I've been working on this for quite some time, so I didn't just do this, but I did start using it for Julie Nutting stuff. Yeah. Oh, guess what, you guys? I found my dolls. <laughs> yep, I found my dolls, so I'm going to actually add the those to that right there. This is another little unit, and I think I have a bunch of my gel pens and stuff in here. You know, you get these from, I get mine from Jet Pens, and some of the ones from, uh, what's the name of the place? Um, okay, I'm dropping stuff. Uh, Jet Pens and the Dollar Tree. It's a few of them from Dollar Tree that I like to use. I'm moving this because I put it here, a reminder to use it. Some things, if I hide away, I forget I have it. Yeah, so over here, more shoes. I love, love, love shoes. Everybody keep asking me where I got these shoes from. And back when the Dollar Tree was worth going to, because things actually were really nicely made. And yeah, I got those from... I'm almost certain the Dollar Tree. Yes, I did get those from the Dollar Tree, and I have another set of them somewhere. But yeah, um, this these are that's the side of my um, yeah where I work at my workstation, and this is where I all the magic happens as as I put it. Yeah, so these, usually if I want to do something and I don't want to forget it, like for instance, that building, I have the church and the house and all those pieces that, is that the Tim Holtz one? I think that's the Tim Holtz one and I have all the pieces that make it the gingerbread and the other dye that make it just the house, the snow house, all that stuff, yeah. And I never did the village, so I am, I actually set it up there so that, it was a reminder for me to make the village. Um, yeah, I usually leave reminders of stuff that I'm doing on my desk so that I can get back to it. Sometimes it works, sometimes I forget. But this is a table right here that sits in front of my unit that I actually had built in the whole room for me. But this is just a lot of stuff that I want to alter or that I have altered, or that someone else have altered and given given to me. I still haven't showed you these wooden spools. This is another one. This is an example of what I do with them. So, um, and here, back here, is another one of those units. And I keep 
all of my seam binding. Now, you don't have to buy seam binding by the rolls, but I found that, matter of fact, years ago, Bona, <laughs> hi Bona, who is Live Love Scrap, gave me the suggestion. She said, Miss D, when, when the seam binding first came, when we first started using it, she told me about buying rolls of it and start, instead of buying it pieces at a time which was a great idea she said I think you'll use it so it might be more advantageous for you to actually get the rolls and I found a place called So True and they actually I don't know if it's every the beginning of every year or what but I got lucky and they had um, a sale on seam binding and I'm trying to keep this from falling down so since it won't stay it says thank goodness I'm fabulous so since it won't stay I'll just put it over here yeah and that's just me playing around because yeah um and I just have loads of stuff here I have someone suggested this harbor freight thing when I start when my Tuesday morning left I found this store over at Potomac Mills on the other side of town um, these are just little embellishments and stuff that I use to make magic. Yeah, so all that stuff is there. I have a lot of stuff under here that you probably can't see. This is one of my, what is this? These are the stick pin books. I'm going to show you this one because this is one that I actually made. And I need to start making more, right? because these make the greatest gifts and it's about that time. It's about time for um, me to start making the stick pen books. But here you go. I love to use the, the base of it is, is the belt and then the, the rest of it is just pieces of laces that I layer over the belt, do the edges and put my pins and make stick pins and all that kind of good stuff in there. Now mind you, I have lots of stuff that I make. It gives me inspiration in here because it gives me inspiration but I have a lot of pieces up here that other people make. This is a piece from, I don't, I think this might have been a swap in both of them. There's a piece from Debbie. I don't know who this who made this I'm not certain I have a bunch of my corks in there and I buy mine by the bulk this is one of my signs that I use for whatever if I'm doing a if I'm doing something I actually make a sign a YouTube sign and I always forget to use it but yeah I love this one. This one was inspired by Vicky Baffiano. I can't say her name, but okay, that I'll say that's what it is. But this is my display right here. I'm not going to go all the way across this because I would have plenty, plenty, plenty to show you. I can show you down here. I have some pull-out drawers, and this is how I actually store a lot of my stickers and stickers and thickers and they're all in here so I don't have a problem looking for my thickers and stickers and stuff and I have so many more to put in there but I have to actually wait until I get them in there a few at a time but yeah that's where I keep all of my thickers or stickers or whatever you want to call it and then I have just a bunch of stuff down there that some of my Dremel tools some of my my little jigsaw some things that like I said if I want to use it I'll put it there I have a bunch of 12 by 12 corrugated cardboard sheets in there too because I use that all the time to make stuff but yeah that's pretty much just this drawer and this I mean this space right here um, some ladies in the lace community you gotta watch everybody okay they actually did these um, during the holidays and I wanted to do it so I actually purchased it never got around to doing it so I'll have to come back and show you all what I do with that I have a set of skis up there that I'm going to alter in the same way yeah and then over here and 
yeah this is let's go back over here because I think I showed you all this before this is my drawer of washi and I actually have a system right here that I use to show what washies are in each of these drawers well I have to redo it well not redo it I have to finish it because all those drawers are filled with washi um, and how many drawers there's six drawers in there but I have so much washi uh, let's see I'll have to stop purchasing it this right here is my step stool because on the other side I can't reach up top and I need step stool so I have one on one end and one on the other and it helps me reach the top um, yeah and this right here is more washi and then it's a lot of stuff Tim Holtz products are in here a lot of his paints are in here then I have a lot of my iron roses and wild orchid crafts in those bins some of them are just parts and pieces of stuff and then what is this more washi flower pieces um, like I said, Iron Roses, this is Sock Crafters, some of her wood veneer products, um, more Tim Holt inks pads, that Vagabond I won. Uh, this is what I use to do my paper mache because it is the paper mache. I got this at Goodwill, look. I think it's like $10 for a big old bag, a bag of this, and it doesn't take a whole lot, but I got this at Goodwill. The 296. Um, this is where I keep my um, some of my papers. That's my newsprints and my what's the name of that paper? We use it for hmm, uh, mixed media. And this is another wall on this side. And this is probably as far over as I'll take you. Let's see. I can go this far because that's my armoire. That I have there, I'll probably have to redo it. And in front of it, I have a. I got that from Target, one of those little stools, benches, and I have my tapes and stuff in here. Oh, you guys, I forgot to.